What's going on guys? Happy Friday to everyone. Hopefully everyone is doing well and staying safe and having a good day so far. Just wanted to spend a brief few moments this morning talking about the H5N1 virus. You know, bird flu, it's been going around. It's been spreading in cows now and it's been spreading in cats as well. Just learned of two more cases in cats in New Mexico and one in Ohio making three total. There's also some new studies coming out saying some fragments or some particles of H5N1 is starting to be found now in cows. That's a little bit concerning. I actually posted on Twitter yesterday, uh, is now a good time to stop consuming milk? Many people said yes. A couple people said no. And personally, I think I'm going to stop consuming milk. Something else into the puzzle that we don't know about. Is it still safe to be consuming stuff you know, like butter and other dairy products? Don't know. Is this outbreak more widespread than we know about right now? There is a good chance that it is. As we know, a lot of agencies are already you know, downplaying this. Some are saying, uh, you know, H5N1, it's a great growing risk. The WHO is taking it a little bit more serious. The FDA and the CDC is saying, well, the public risk is low at this time. Okay, let's pause for a second. We've heard that song and dance before. 2020, yes, we were told COVID wouldn't become a big thing. It did. Now, do I personally feel H5N1 right at this moment, bird flu is going to become the next big thing? No, but I'm also leaning towards Let's proceed with caution. No, because we saw an outbreak last year in 2023, in the spring, where, you know, it started getting concerning for its several weeks. Maybe it was a couple of months. Eventually that blew over. We didn't hear much about it for a while. This year seems a little bit different. Cows. Cows was not part of the equation last year. So we'll have to see what goes on. There have been at least one or two human cases in the United States linked to dairy farms. Okay, that's all we know so far. Another piece of the puzzle, which again, raises red flags. We don't know much. There are some sites, wastewater sites, around the United States where influenza A is mysteriously rising. Why is that mysterious? Because influenza in wastewater, influenza in general, as we come into the warmer months, is not usually as big of a deal. Can there be cases in the warmer months of the year? Sure, but nothing like what we see in the wintertime. You may get a case or two of influenza A, influenza B, influenza in general in summertime. But again, it spreads the easiest. It spreads the most in the colder months. So the fact that we're seeing influenza type A rise in wastewater, that's a reason for a red flag. It's something that needs to be investigated. It's happening in various different places. I mean, just yesterday, I showed a few wastewater sites on the pandemic update where we did see influenza A rising. Can't state much more about that. Again, there's little details. So there's a lot of hints here and there that, hey, maybe H5N1 this year is a bigger deal than it was last year. But all we can do right now is proceed with caution. You don't know much right now. I don't know much right now. And as time goes on, we will gradually find out out more. My hope is that it never becomes a pandemic, but it's something that's a problem. And it seems to me it's something that's going to become a problem each and every spring. And God forbid one of these years, it makes the jump to human to human transmission. Then we have a real problem right now. I'm not seeing that. I'm just seeing that there's a lot of unknowns, things that we don't know, but it's something that we should keep on, on our mind something that we should keep an eye on. But I don't think at the moment it's something that we should say, oh, we got to stop. We got to panic. This is the next big COVID pandemic. No, 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 no. Let's take this step by step, day by day. I'll report on what I know about it. If you notice the past couple pandemic updates, I've been skeptical to even mention it. The one I didn't mention, I, I actually said, yeah, I've been seeing something in wastewater, but I don't really want to talk about it. Well, I just mentioned what that is. It's these uh, influenza A wastewater sites 
or these sites that are seeing influenza A rise. There was one that was seeing a rapid rise in Texas. And as you know, Texas has a lot of dairy farm outbreaks ongoing right now. It's just pure speculation. We don't know what it actually is. I'm not even 100% certain can H5N1 be t detected in H5 in uh, wastewater. I never got a clear answer from anyone if that's why influenza A could be rising in some sites. Don't know. You know as much as I know right now. And let's take this day by day. Not panic about it. I'll report on what I see. I'll mention that uh, cat story probably again if we do a pandemic update later on, which I'm thinking we will because there was some new COVID variant data out today. And mind you, they're not sequencing as much as they used to, but it, it, it threw me for a real curveball. I'll show it to you this afternoon in the pandemic update. Stay safe, everyone. And just take this bird flu news as you see it day by day. Don't panic about it because there's no reason to panic right now. We all know limited stuff. There's a lot of unknowns. There are far more unknowns than there are knowns with bird flu right now. We don't know. We don't even know how widespread the outbreaks are. We're hearing about outbreaks, but there's potential it could be far more widespread or it could just be confined to these dairy farms, which I think is probably what's the case right now. But we don't know. And as we learn more, then we can change our level of concern. My level of concern over H5N1 on a scale of 1 to 10, I would put it somewhere between a 4 and a 5 right now. I wouldn't put it any higher than that until we know more. Okay? I'll see you all later in the day for the pandemic update. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Want to see more content like this? Subscribe to my channel down below. Got a comment? Leave it down below. Maybe I just got something wrong. If I did, let me know down below. I'll see you all again next time. Until then, stay safe, everyone. Have a fantastic Friday. Thanks for watching this little update on H5N1.